So the iPhone 11, believe it or not, has been a little bit of a weird phone on iOS 17. Now, I don't know the best way to describe this, but actually I do know the best way to describe this. This phone as a whole has been, I would say the last, with iOS 16 and then with iOS 17, I noticed that this phone has been getting a little bit weirder here and there. It's not the end of the world, but if I had to kind of state something, it's weird how Apple has been kind of removing some features here and there on this type of device throughout the last couple of years, but also how much weirder the battery life has been getting on iOS, you know, the last couple of iOS, iOS updates. Now, the other day, I just did this battery comparison, right? So if I go and load up this battery comparison on my other phone, what I basically found was, was that on the basically the five hour and 39 minute mark, the iPhone 11 was right here. The iPhone 11 actually ended up dying. So this was like five hours and 39 minutes. The iPhone 12, which was the next iPhone after, seven hours and 27 minutes in, was still at 22%. That is a massive difference from the iPhone 11 to the iPhone 12. So that was a very, very weird thing that I was not expecting. I was not expecting a phone like the iPhone 11 to be doing so poor in that battery life segment. In fact, if we take a look at the battery health, it's not even that low. I think I'm still over 90%, which is still decent. So 95% battery health. So it's not like this one has a massively you know, massive battery degradation going on either. So I feel like for some reason, these types of iPhones have been doing really, really weird on battery life since like iOS 16, if I'm being honest. Now that is from a battery life segment. The other big thing I wanted to note is the amount of features that are stripped away from something like the iPhone 11. It's very weird that Apple went through and gave us, I guess, a very limited amount of features within iOS 17, but then they actually went through and gave us even more limited features. If you actually look at the very bottom right here, just like how they do it every year, it basically tells us that certain iPhones, you know, are needed to do certain features, which makes sense. That's kind of how it goes. But you can see right here, I mean, a lot of these features require an iPhone 12 or newer. For some people out there, they don't have an iPhone 12 or newer. They have an iPhone 11 or below. And in fact, some of them, you need the pro models of them. But another really weird feature that Apple actually, I don't know why they took away. I didn't even see people talking about it. It's actually with personal voice. So the a new feature within iOS 17, if you go into accessibility, is this new personal voice feature. Now on my iPhone 11, you can see I don't have it. But if I open it up on my basically my iPhone 12 Pro, you can see if I go into accessibility, if I go in the same exact spot, if I go into right here, I have personal voice. This is a really cool feature, and it's weird that Apple didn't let us have it on the iPhone 11 or even any other iPhone, but they let us have it on the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro and you know so on and so forth. I feel like it's just kind of an interesting thing that Apple's been doing. And I definitely do think that Apple kind of needs to go ahead and they're not going to do this because I'm saying it, but I really do wish Apple would kind of go ahead and focus a little bit more on giving us a more rounded out experience on all of our you know devices rather than severely limiting all the features that we're getting and kind of weird it and, and kind of weirding out the battery life here and there on some of our older iPhones as well. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.